applications of flapless transform in control systems. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the Laplace transform, explain the use of Laplace transform in a control system, and discuss the applications of Laplace transform in a control system. Introduction to Laplace transform in control systems. Robots. We see them everywhere. They assist humans in performing dangerous and repetitive tasks. And they are currently being used in fields like manufacturing industry, healthcare, military, and yes, the list is endless. In the manufacturing industry, tasks such as welding, painting, and assembly are carried out by robotic arms with high precision. In order to control the speed and position of the robotic arm, mathematical modeling of the robotic arm and a suitable controller is needed. Then, the transfer functions are derived for mathematical modeling of the system through which the stability of the system can be evaluated prior to fabrication. So, a transfer function is a mathematical expression which relates the input and output variables by using Laplace transform. Laplace transform is an integral transform method that converts a function small f of t in the time domain into function in the Laplace domain capital F of S. And it is particularly useful in solving linear ordinary differential equations. It is a very powerful mathematical tool applied in various areas of engineering, especially in control systems. Come on, in this topic, let us discuss more about the use of Laplace transform in control systems. Laplace transform in control systems. A control system is an interconnection of components forming a system configuration which provides a desired system response. In simple terms, a control system takes in data as input, processes the data and then sends out the desired output. Here, the components in control systems are classified as electrical, mechanical, hydraulic, thermal and so on. All these components can be described by mathematical modeling such as integral differential equations of various orders. While the output of control systems for any input can be obtained by solving such integral differential equations. For example, obtain the expression for y of t which satisfies the differential equation shown on the screen. And neglect the initial conditions. Mathematically, it is very difficult to solve such equations in time domain. Hence, to solve such equations, the Laplace transform converts them into simple algebraic equations. Then, all the complicated computations can be easily performed in S domain as the equations to be handled are algebraic in nature. Such transformed equations are known as equations in frequency domain. Then, by eliminating unwanted variables, the required variable in S domain can be obtained. By using the technique of Laplace inverse, time domain function for the required variable can be obtained. This is how Laplace transform is used in control systems, which makes the computation easy and produces the desired manipulations in the result. Let us see some more applications of Laplace transform in control systems. The first one is the automobile speed controller like automatic cruise control. Automatic cruise control is an excellent example of a control system found in many modern vehicles. The purpose of the cruise control system is to maintain a constant vehicle speed despite external disturbances such as changes in wind or road grade. This is accomplished by measuring the vehicle speed, comparing it to the desired or reference speed and automatically adjusting the throttle according to a control law. In order to control the vehicle speed compared to the reference speed, Laplace transform of modeling equations is needed. And the second one is missile launcher. In a missile launcher, the Laplace transform is needed to find out the required turn to track down the enemy aircraft at any time. Now, Hope you understood how Laplace transform is used in a control system and its applications. Conclusion 
Through this topic, we saw the applications of Laplace transform in control systems. Besides these, Laplace transform is a very effective tool to simplify very complex problems in the areas of stability and control. It goes without saying that Laplace transform is put to tremendous use in the engineering field. Summary This brings us to the end of the lesson. In this lesson, we have learned about the Laplace transform. It is an integral transform method that converts a function, small f of t, in the time domain into function in the Laplace domain capital F of s. And particularly useful in solving linear ordinary differential equations. Then, the use of Laplace transform in control systems. And the applications of Laplace transform in control systems.